Hello, this feels so weird to be vlogging because I literally never do it anymore, but I thought I would vlog because there are a few vloggers that I really love and a few people have been asking me to do vlogs again, so I thought I'll try. This is probably going to be a very spread out vlog, just like vlogging bits here and there, but I'm going to try and do it anyway. So I'm just waiting on a carpenter to come because we're getting a stair gate fitted. We wanted it to look like part of the actual banister, not like a metal stair gate. Like we just wanted it to look integrated, like part of the wood, if that makes sense. So we've had it like custom built. I'm really excited about it. Um, I need to paint it because I've got all of our like interior wood paint. So I thought I'd just paint it myself so everything matches nicely. He's gonna be here in about 10 minutes, but while we wait, I've just had this delivered. This is not an ad because I've seen so many people talking about it that I thought I would get it for myself. So you've probably heard of Skin and Me. I swear this isn't an ad. I've just bought it because everybody raves about it. Um, not that it makes any difference if it's an ad because I only talk about things that I actually use and like. I don't really know what the point is of talking about something that you don't actually like and then somebody buys it and they're like, this is a big pile of crap. And then they never believe a word you say ever again. Like, I don't know why anybody would do that. So I went on to Skin and Me. I got my Daily Dosa thing. I wanted to try it out. Heard so much about it and it's really cheap. It's really affordable for what it is. So apparently mine has tretinoin, niacinamide and azaleac acid. Azale azaleac? I think that's how you would say it. Basically, if you don't get the concept, it's like this little daily dosing and you just twist until it clicks and that's like your daily dose. I'm going to stop rambling and show you the space where the stair gate is going. I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait for this to come. I know that might sound like really lame, but it's just nice seeing things that like you've drawn out and stuff come into real life. Like we're getting the wardrobes done in, I think their availability is in the end of April. So that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, it's just nice to see things like come to fruition, I guess. So here she is all done. I'm so excited. I literally love her. She matches perfectly, like the wood matches, like it is identical. I do not know how he has done that. It's incredible. Like I said, I just need to paint it, but it just looks like it should be there. Like it looks like it is part of it. This hallway randomly is like one of my favorite areas in the house because it just feels so finished and like lived in. I just love it. I think it just looks so nice with the lights, the pictures. It's kind of like a shrine to the dogs. If you've not seen it, we've got all of these pictures. And then I had an artist draw this one. So we've just got a lot of dog stuff going on up here. I've just sat down to film a campaign that I'm working on on TikTok because I have been talking about this brand for so long because that's what I used to wear it in my teeth. And everybody says, oh, you've got such white teeth. So I made a few videos about these, not sponsored or anything. Like I bought them with my own money. I'd been using them. So I thought I'd tell people that they work. And then probably like six months after I made the video, they reached out and they were like, do you want to collab? Because like, we love that you love us. And I was like, well, duh, because I do really love you. So I'm very happy about that. So I'm just filming a collaboration post because I've just finished filming, I've just finished editing, I've sent it over for approval, and now I'm masking tape up the stair gate. He still hates me. I, mean, I, I could just feel it. He's never forgiven me. Another stupid mistake making this to my life. Hello, it is a few days later. I just got out of a meeting that went really well. It was to discuss, like, just where I want to be like with my career, like moving forward, discussing like ways that I can like bring value to the people that follow me and help anybody that follows me as much as possible. And I think that's really useful because I feel like what needs to be like in the front of like every creator's brain is like, how can I help the person watching this video? Like what, how can I help them? Like, am I entertaining them or am I giving you a good laugh? Like, what is it? So I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's always good to just remind yourself of why you're doing it, why I started in the first place, because I didn't start this so that it could be my career. I started it because I just enjoyed it. Like I did this before, I'm gonna walk backwards, otherwise I'm showing you out the window. Um, yeah, I started doing this before you could even make money off of it. So I did not start this thinking it was gonna be a job. I just started it for fun. And it's good to remind yourself of that. Like I'm getting ready to film some outfits. I'm so excited to get my wardrobes done. This has been so long in the making. Like we will have lived here for like almost a year, which is crazy by the time the wardrobes get done. She ain't a bartender, but she sold more drinks than she knows. This is the aftermath of filming. There is always just stuff like literally everywhere. 
but I'm all filmed. I'm ready to edit. I'm gonna have a little bit of a break. I'm gonna get myself some lunch because I literally have not stopped all morning. Um, and then I've got some invoicing to do, some little admin bits to do, some follow-up stuff from my meeting to do. But this needs to get tidied up first because it is literally such a mess. And also one of my neighbors just came around to give me the number of a landscaper for the garden because we want the garden done this summer. We've already made some progress, like we've extended the um, patio and stuff like that. But I think we maybe want like a raised level because we want to make one of those pagola, I don't even know what they're called, things. Um, so yeah, I want to get a quote for that because I just got a quote. Do you want to know what it was? No, I can't. Six. 16,000 pounds for the garden. I was like, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> like, I will learn how to do landscape gardening myself because I'm not spending that on a garden. I'm just not. Like, it's fine as it is. I'll just stick some plants and pots out there because I'm not spending. You'd think you're getting a swimming pool for 16,000 16, pounds. No, for some dirt and grass. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. And she said that her quote was a lot less than that. So I'm going to contact this guy and see what this guy says. Because there is just not a chance. Not a chance that we're paying that for a garden. I'll learn how to do it myself, genuinely. Um, that's just insane to me. And obviously wardrobes are my main priority. Like the garden can wait. Because um, the wardrobes are my main priority. Because this dressing area is just not the one yet. Hello. Um, okay, sorry about the funny camera angle but I'm driving and I didn't really know where else to put you so you're kind of looking at my steering wheel but it works um I'm just running a few errands um honestly I love um I love going out in the day because the traffic in Oxford is pretty bad but like during midday it's like um two o'clock now I just wanted to get a few little bits because the wife's car broke last week or the week before um and like we've been looking to find her a new car but she's super fussy and super particular um and we finally found one this weekend i just want to get like a few little car accessories because i just think that's nice for her My hair looks greasy even though I washed it like two days ago. I'm just gonna set the sat nav up for her and everything. Um, this is so snazzy. It even has, it's really difficult to show you without showing you where we live. But this is like a heads up display thing. Like this comes up and it like projects onto there. It's pretty snazzy, but I'm trying to figure out how to do the, um, the sat nav. Uh... I've put her little thingamabob in. It smells so good in here already. It's gonna smell delicious by the time she gets in. I did it. Hello, it is very early. It is 7.10. I've been up since 6.30. I did a new heatless curl today and they just, they haven't really gone very well. It was those unicorn curl things. I don't know if you've seen it. My product choices this morning are the L'Oreal Bright Reveal, which is just incredible, the Cordly Vino Perfect, and the Inky List Omega Water Cream, which is so good. So, yeah. Does it begin with a T? I don't understand. It is not. Not a nice dungeon. One where people like spit on you. <laughs> and I'll leave the poking sticks outside so people can poke you. Bob, why are you being so fucking twisted? <laughs> With like a little fire so it's like hot um, metal sticks. For half an hour? Yeah. We'll go half for a coffee. <laughs> It's freezing. Freezing. I got Peddy as well, which was nice, but it's our last time. I'm so hungry. Hey 
queen. Sorry for the angle, I'm driving again. Maintenance day is over, I've had my eyelashes done. I met my nan for coffee and my granddad. And then I just met my friend, Phil, my best friend, to go for a drink, because I don't see him as much as I would like to, because obviously we live hours away from each other. Um, and he made me a sandwich, which is nice, because he's a really good cook. Hello, I'm home. I just got home like two seconds ago. And I cannot wait to have a shower. Like, I'm just dying to have a shower. Cleansing bar my choice. It just gets rid of everything so easily. See, I feel like I'm never in the master en suite. Like, I only use this guest en suite to shower. Because I feel like Lou's always in there. Like, she uses that more than me. And it's got, like, a rainfall shower head, like our master en suite does. And I don't want to get my hair wet, so I always just use this one. Mm -hmm. for a few weeks i want to quickly put in some clips of things that i've been up to that i've shared on tiktok but not on here because there have been so many things that i wanted to vlog and i've either forgotten or i'm too shy or it's just like a kerfuffle i guess all of you know the, 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 the grander landscape of everything that you do why is it important well the next generation is the future, right? And we mm -hmm. have, I, I've, I've, you know, I have nine million women on the on the glamour um, platform. Wow! And I feel a huge sense of responsibility that the messages that we're putting out are going to help and support the next generation and make sure they're not being brought up with the same toxic messaging that I think so many of my generation were brought up with. You know, images in advertising, images in magazines, mm -hmm. um, expectations, society. You know, talking, removing the shame we can change things we can change women's lives we can change the way that the next generation feel about themselves talk about themselves it will affect the, the, the relationships they have with 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 say don't live up to other people's expectations of who they think you should be because quite often they've got their own journeys and they're they're kind of projecting their own views of, of, of whatever is in life onto you and that might not be right for you so um just be strong in, in your own belief about who, who you should be and i think it will serve you well whenever i've done that it has sent me down the right path i love that that's actually an amazing one to end on mm. i really really Come with me to one of the most exclusive clubs in London where Prince Harry, Harry Styles, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, all of those go. Before we left the house, I had a little meant to be about what to wear. I did not know what to go with. I ended up going with this. I feel like I look like I'm trying to sell you an Audi, but hey ho, we had to leave. You're usually not allowed to film inside of the box because of one, what goes on there, Google it, but don't say I didn't warn you. And also I think because of who goes there. Maybe Kate Middleton is hiding out at the box. Who knows, she might have been downstairs in the toilets. We got there, we were going with NYX to celebrate the launch of the Slick Clicks, which honestly are incredible. These little dancing little tongue things oh my god they kind of haunt my nightmares they're giving me strange things vibes this drag queen was literally hanging from a pole and swinging and kicking her legs out into the audience and i was so terrified that somebody was about to get kicked into the face but honestly it was very entertaining it was very very entertaining these little tong things oh my god they are literally like demogorgon things they're haunting me you will not believe who they had as a guest performance. I was honestly so excited about this. We knew there was gonna be a guest performance. It was the freaking Sugar Babes. Are you kidding me? I feel like the Sugar Babes were part of my gay awakening. These two guys right here, I feel like I know who the girl is, but I don't know who the guy is. I need to know who he is because honestly, he is my spirit animal. I wanna be as confident as him. I love him. I love his sparkly little ear. Tag him if you know who he is because I just adore him. 
The night was so much fun. I was so nervous about going because I just did not know what was going to go down. But honestly, it was so incredible. I'm so grateful that we got this invite because it was such a good night. I absolutely loved it. This is one of the best events I've ever been to, but the wifey was not doing very well. There was a free bar, which I think people definitely took advantage of. Thank you very much, Nix. We love you. I had my Burger King. I was doing pretty well because I'm not a big drinker, but my girl, she was not doing well. So we woke up the next morning and watched the girls' bathroom in bed with a McDonald's breakfast. And that was our night. But with that being said, it was my birthday yesterday. Um... 30 is getting closer every day. It's getting closer every day. I see it right around the corner. It's coming. Um, I got these pajamas. This was a gift to myself. Well, I had money, so I, I spent the money on these pajamas. And I also just got this humongous, humongous package. So, I mean, literally, just look how big it is. It's, it's a big girl. It's from a brand called Charlie. If you've not heard of them, I just couldn't be more obsessed with them. Charlie is like a fashion brand that just do the most beautiful, delicious stuff ever. This is one of the cardigans. Their knitwear is like, I wear their knitwear at least three times a week. It's gorgeous. I got this long cardigan because you know when you want to be cozy in the house, but you don't want to wear like a dressing gown. I thought stunning. I also thought for the airport, beautiful. Oh, she's cute. Okay, she's got a little collar going on. I love this like warm oatmeal color and almost texture as well. Um, this is like the same as the gray cardigan, but just obviously in cream and barge, as me and Lou say. Oh, aren't they just stunning? I wish you could feel the quality, like just, you see how Like imagine wearing this on a flight. It's like having a blanket. She's pretty. Oh my God. No, I'm too excited about this. This is a little two-piece set for the summertime. I mean, you don't have to wear it together. You could obviously wear it separate also. Oh my God, how pretty is this? It's like the most beautiful feeling like linen, I guess, with this gorgeous embroidery. Matching freaking shorts. Like these shorts with just like a little like cream white tank top would look absolutely beautiful. Together it will look beautiful. The piece is on its own. Stunning, I just can't. So gorgeous. As you can tell, I'm loving the blue right now. Look at this color. She's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. You are. The quality of the knitwear, I just can't. I wish you could feel it. Like, honestly, you need to feel it to understand. Look at these pearly buttons also. <gasps> so pretty. Wow. Wow, 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 is all I can say. I'm flabbergasted. This is just beautiful. Like, everything is beautiful. I love everything. That's my little haul. I just wanted to end the vlog off. Sorry this has been a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but I'm not with it with the vlogs yet. I'm trying to get back into it. Um, and it's not as easy as it looks. Like I watch some people vlogging and I'm just like, how are you so effortless with this? Because that does not come to me naturally at all. Like at all. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you soon with a new video. I hope that I don't leave it so long next time. But yeah, hope you have a good weekend.